So just moments before kick off then. Referee just checking the correct amount of players are on the pitch. And checking both goalkeepers are ready. Tamworth will kick from left to right from our press area and that means from the Meadow Street end to the Castle end. And immediately Joel Kettle is forced to play that back to Jazz Singh. He clears up well into Solid, Solihull territory. And the ball is finally on the deck on the high play line. Santana with a good turn, 10 yards in his own half and sets off down the far touch line. Did lose out possession in the end, so he was covered well. Chance for him to bring the ball out on the right side now. Come on, you feel it! now, slide ball pass then. A chance for 1-0 and that is the opening goal for Solihull Moors. It was a really good goal actually by Danny Wright after he was fed by Darren Carter. In the 25th minute, Danny Wright opens the scoring, so it's Tamworth nil, Solly Moors one. The game over the past few minutes has sort of died down a little bit. As I, as I say that, there's a break on for number 11, and he's. Yeah. Well worked goal there by Solly Hill, really, on the, on the counter attack, and it was. Kwame Thomas, who uh, picked up the ball there, and Jazz Singh was well beaten there, Kev. All too easy for Solly or Moores there, Stuart. That's where we're right, Stuart, don't we? It's, it's that fine line between full time and part time, and isn't it, Kev? Obviously, now a good percentage of teams in the Conference National are, are full time teams. Ahead of a lot of ex league teams are in there now because they've dropped, to, dropped down from League Two. And there is the half time whistle. But otherwise, I believe that is the only change there. I'm just trying to work out who's left the field. And I think it's the number nine trialist, Kev. Can't see. The trial is on the pitch. I think you're right on that one, Stuart. Yeah, so is so that a change in formation? I would say to me that's a change in formation. We'll try and work it out once the game's underway, which it is now. 14 Paul Green replaces the number 9 trialist. And it looks like Tamworth have packed out the midfield for the second half and gone one up top with Equality Asante. Sante looks like the kind of player is in dire need of a goal. Very sharp, just got his, uh, his toes trodden on there and an immediate apology, but, uh, apology by Kwame Thomas who realised that totally accidentally he'd uh, trodden on the toes of Rhys Sharp. But, uh, sharp looks okay, he's taking the throw in. Big winner by Lewis Rice in the middle of the park there and Berman now picks up the scraps, turns inside. We have to come back to Paul Green on the halfway and Tamworth being forced back. Upton, back to Singh. Tamworth still in possession, but as I say, they've had to go backwards. Upton now. And that's what he can't afford to do. There's an empty goal. He's given the ball away. Oh, and it's right in the corner. And it's Jamie Osborne who's put Solihull Moors three goals to the good. And that was really poor by Tamworth at the back and you have to say Regan Upton has got to learn from those scenarios too many times last season he was caught in possession at the back and again Stuart, he was caught out it certainly was it was really really poor if in um, doubt get rid you, you just got to knock it long he had no pass on Solly all pressed the ball really well and he tried to just take the player on once he'd lost the ball there Tamworth were all out of shape Kick over into the 90th minute. Right, there's not going to be too much time left in this one. Yeah, it looks like Thomas will finish without a goal. A 
there's been a couple of uh, solid performances out there this evening. I've been quite impressed with Lewis Wright. He's, uh, he's a real battler. But, um, echoes Mike Fowler's words to me actually a couple of weeks ago. He's a competitive and combative defender. Not many will get the better of him. And I can see that in his performances so far. And of course, the game is so disruptive with all the substitutions. There is the final whistle. So it has finished here at the EST Electrical Services Stadium. Towers nil, Solihull Wars 3. Good work out from the Lambs. Some good performances in there, but, but not a complete performance at all. We'll be catching up with Mike Fowler in a few minutes. And um, the interview will be up on the YouTube channel in the next day or so. So you can catch his thoughts on the opening two friendlies.